Let's move to another guy who had a fall off last year. That's Philip Rivers going to the Indianapolis Colts on a one year, $25 million deal. Rivers struggled. I think perception was that Rivers was really bad last year because he threw 20 picks. But a lot of those picks were were behind because our defense lost Derwin James and guys have been banged up. We got to come from behind. If you look at the actual like per dropback efficiency numbers, Rivers was 13th in passing net expected points per dropback, whereas Jacoby Brissett was 20th with the Colts. Uh, Rivers was 11th in deep rate. Brissett was 25th. So I know the perception is that this is not a major upgrade for the Colts, and I wouldn't classify it as being a major upgrade. But I do think that it is a push in the right direction for guys like T.Y. Hilton. Allegedly, it's good for Marlon Mack, but he's not, he doesn't fit the mold we like for, for DFS because there's not a lot of pass catching there. So I think it's a nudge up for T.Y. Hilton. Uh, what do you see here with uh, Rivers to the Colts? Yeah, I kind of made the same note, really, where I think that there's like a perception or maybe it's just a joke, but it's why would they downgrade their quarterback? And look, we... We like Jacoby Brissett just fine, but Phillip Rivers was better. Uh, he's shown a really high ceiling. He he lives inside the top 10 and expected points uh, each year. He's just kind of always up there. Now, he's one of the – it's almost like the inverse of Tom Brady for me where I watch Brady. I'm like, I, I mean, yeah, he's still – he doesn't have a great situation, but he still looks, you know, decent. And then yeah. it's Phillip Rivers where it's – He's got how many great targets to throw to, and he's throwing right. the ball into the dirt. So that's the weird thing about him is he always like I can't watch him. Like there are certain <laughs> players when I use him in DFS, I can't watch them. Like I, Jacob Degrom back before he like truly broke out, I'd use him in DFS, but I could not watch him because he drove me freaking nuts. I can't use Philip Rivers because the throwing motion is so awkward that it like makes me think that he's hurt all the time, or I don't know something. So yeah. I, I just can't watch him. Uh, but like, so I get where you're coming from there. Yeah. I mean, like I sold myself on rivers a lot last year cause he had so many good targets. I was like, he's efficient, even though he's not, you know, breaking the efficiency metrics, he's still an above average passer and you just watch him and you're like, what is he doing? Like, right. <laughs> but I think one thing here is, uh, it might help just the pass catchers overall, uh, because mm-hmm. Jacoby Brissett didn't really target anybody outside of T Y Hilton with any real, like uh interest it was yeah. when hilton was out it was just kind of uh share the ball uh and that's never anything that we like we in will DFS. not speak ill of zach pascal dfs legend for one game yeah yeah but um, yeah you're right but yeah i mean uh we know that philip rivers can pepper keenan allen uh, i know that ty hilton and keenan allen aren't exactly the same type of player necessarily but i think this is not not that we not that you and I really need more reasons to love T.Y. Hilton because we both right. do, uh, but I think this is a boost for T.Y. Hilton for sure. Yeah, Philip Rivers is team throw it to your good players, which is a great thing, and I think that's good for T.Y. Hilton, who before the injury last year had a 27% target share. He had 44% of the deep targets before his big injury, I should say, because uh, he did a, he did miss a game in there as well. But like those are really good numbers tied to Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers now gets a like they were my best offensive line in my rankings entering last year. And I think they I haven't looked at stuff for this year yet, but they'll probably be there for next year too with Anthony Costanzo being back. So great offensive line, which he has not had in probably literally a decade. Um, T Y Hilton to throw to, I would assume that they don't have a first round pick anymore. Cause they traded that for DeForest Buckner, but uh, they have a couple high end second round picks. I bet they bring in one of those hyper talented pass catchers from the draft and, this could be a really good offense, which does benefit Marlon Mack. Again, not really the type of guy we use, but I think Rivers will be DFS relevant. I think the T.Y. Hilton definitely gets a boost up. Anything else for you on Rivers to the Colts? Uh, no, I, just, I, I like it. I just really am really hoping Phillip Rivers looks like he's refound kind of what he's had in the past.